Social distancing part two. Social distancing part two. Hey guys, I uh I just put my uh Bowflex on Craigslist. And uh <laughs> I mean dude, less than an hour that shit was gone, man. It was gone. And it made me think about social distancing. Shh, man, nothing can beat a good deal, you know what I mean? You know, sit back and social distancing. And uh, in part one, social distancing, I talked about divide and conquer. And uh, it's clear to see that, you know, these guys are going to go through with their plans, you know. But I just want people to know that I don't think things will ever go back to what we know to be the norm. You know what I mean? I don't think it'll ever go back to what we call normal. Because, uh, again, with it being embedded in people's head that, I mean, like, just, I mean, talking to people, man. I mean, imagine you going to talk to an old buddy and, you know, and, and, and approaching your buddy, this person stepping back. They have it in their head that they're supposed to be six feet apart. Uh, groups, I mean... Most people go to the club and the bar to socialize, you know. They're, most people go to church to congregate and to fellowship together. I don't know how they're going to, you know. I mean, you can do church online. You know, uh, you can do, uh, you can stream church, you know what I mean. But, uh, I mean, the old world that we knew of, I mean, that's gone, man. It's gone because, like I say, it's in people. Hey, even if they were to come out and say, hey, look, uh, we got everything under control. I'm not convinced that people, people are going to wear their mask. You know, people, you know, if you sneeze or cough, I mean, it's allergy season for crying out loud. You know, so if you're allergic to pollen, some, you know, have some type of allergy and you cough, people don't even have a mannerism or the decency anymore to... Hey, God bless you. Uh, you know, are you okay? Like, people looking at you crazy. Like, this person just sneezed. Let me get the fuck out of here. You know, and look at what the, the Asians mean. And, well, not all Asians, but the Chinese have to deal with. You know, now they all getting a taste of what a lot of the, uh, you know, the uh, civil, well, not civil rights movement, but a lot of what the blacks had to endure when it came down to them experimenting. And when I say them, meaning governmental, uh, governmental, uh, you know, are, I guess, whites, you know, they experimented and they, during the Tuskegee experiment and a lot of those people that went down got syphilis and after that, a lot of blacks didn't trust the doctors and hospitals anymore the way that they did before, man, because they got experimented on, you know, but it, it never stopped when it kind of experiment, whether they black people, Asian people, whites. And, you know, and, and what we're going through now, you know, it's the same thing, you know, uh, what we was going through, I'm sorry, what we was going through then was kind of what the Chinese and the Muslims, because during, you know, during 9-11, you know, oh, the Muslims knocked down the tower. And everybody looked at the Muslims crazy. If you had anything wrapped on your head, it's like, this guy, <laughs> this guy's a terrorist, <laughs> You know, because that's what the media put in people's head. You know, now the media said, oh, look, China did it. And people believe that China did it. You know, and it's just some coincidence we owe these guys $22 trillion. <laughs> $22 trillion. So, like, well, that's the reason that they would want to fuck us up. I, mean, how you, I, mean, I guess they never get their money that way. <laughs> I mean, come on, man. All of what I'm saying is, man, use your head. But deep inside, I feel like. This is what we need, man. I mean, if we have to be controlled every step of the way, then some people, they's too far gone. They don't think for themselves. They don't use their brain. So, you know, you can't, you, you know, you can't get mad when somebody else control you. If you don't think for yourself and you're not going to use your own mind to think for yourself and to figure things out and to have your own knowledge and be able to make your own choices, then don't get mad when somebody else do it for you. I mean, bottom line. So it's not it's not nothing to stress stress over, uh, nothing to pull your hair out over. It's just the way it is, you know. Uh, take control of your life. Or don't get mad when someone else do, you know. And so that's basically what's going on now. 
hey, if you're a baby boomer and you go out shopping, you need to go out shopping between these hours. Hey, stay away from large groups. What the fuck? I mean, come on, man. That's not, listen, I'm going to tell you something I've told you guys many times. You're not going to make it out of life alive. You're not going to make it out alive, man. When it's your time, it's your time, man, whether you like it or not. And that's just how it goes, man. But it's clear to see that, yes, we're being controlled. A lot of our rights and freedoms are diminishing. They're gone. And we're not going to get them back. And like I say, that fear factor, man, I mean, when you pluck on that string of fear, it's a low frequency. And so a lot of people, they caught, man. They trapped, you know. Government said this. Oh, my God, CNN said this. I sat in my house all day and you just watch this television and it's just telling you, telling you, it's just programming and programming you. These guys spend millions and billions of dollars on, you know what I mean? Uh, you know, this whole digital era, you know what I mean? And But here's the crazy part, though. If everyone is up on the quarantine and everyone is using tablets, a lot of people working from home are using computer internet. A lot of people are using their new digital TVs because... A lot of the TVs went digital back in 2000 when they had us to get rid of the old TVs to go digital. So, you know, those TVs are watching us. Uh, you know what I mean? Uh, a lot of the uh, cameras on the uh, internet, I mean, on the uh, computer are watching us. Tablets, so on and so forth, uh, your phones. So, it's safe to say that we all caught in the worldwide web, the majority of us. So, the more and more we engage in the digital technology in this whole new world it's nothing for them to cut you off you know what this person talked too fucking much you know it's psych dolo right now we're not gonna shut him down he don't have enough followers but you know once we get tired of him we'll just shut him down Shit, you won't buy nor be able to sell most of you guys you know you go to church and you've been hearing that for years you will not be able to buy nor sell without the mark of the beast so, so much for, you know, I mean, unless you're going to go back to the Daniel Boone days and, you know, you know, get you some, you know, cattle, some livestock, you want to find you some land, but it's like global lockdown right now, you know, so if, if we're facing what we're facing in this country, imagine what other countries are going through, and they really don't know how to think for themselves, they don't have the knowledge or the know-how to even, you know, this biological weapon they done put out here, you know, and it's, it's destroying people. It's, it, 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 it have already. So it's just more control to come. And pretty much uh, we'll see how the election go. Maybe uh, martial law by then because I'm not convinced the uh, president is leaving. You know, uh, President Trump, I'm not convinced he's leaving anytime soon. So... Like I say, guys, brace yourselves, you know, do the best you can, over and out.